another menu Monday. This week I have four more crock pot meals for you. I had a, <laughs> I did a lot last minute. I hope you all enjoyed those. Um, these are sort of ones that I did that were also very good. I just couldn't get them into those videos. So without further ado, let's get the cooking. Today we're going to make a fairly simple chicken and dumplings. Now my recipe has been cut down because it was just me that was going to be eating this. Big Daddy was away at work. So uh, I'm going to put at the end of here and on the website the full recipe. Uh, first of all I'm going to cut up my vegetables and this calls for a carrots, celery, and onion. I didn't have onions so I just used some dried onion in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a liner on this and put in my chicken first. And this calls for thighs. You can do any chicken you like, but I do think thighs give it a little more flavor. We're adding in some chicken broth, some chicken soup. Adding in our celery and our carrots. And then we're going to put in a one teaspoon of minced garlic and some pepper. Now this cooks on low for four hours and I didn't film adding the biscuits but what you do is you take one to two cans of biscuits however many dumplings you would like and you cut them into bite-sized pieces you put them in the crock pot and let it go for another hour and then everything will be ready it was very very flavorful and very easy I hope you give this one a try today a Tuscan chicken pasta again in the crock pot and first thing we're going to do is put our chicken in here we're using chicken breast for this we're going to season this with salt pepper and Italian seasoning on both sides I was going to go to the cookhouse and get some onions, but it's pouring with rain, so I just used some dried. And then <laughs> I thought this jar was sun dried tomatoes. And I looked at it and I was like, what do we have here? And I'm like, oh, roasted red peppers. Okay, we can use those. They were absolutely delicious. I'm dumping in here our quartered artichoke parts. And then we're going to put some garlic in here and chicken broth. If you don't have something in your pantry or your refrigerator, just substitute for something you like. And these roasted red peppers were really good. I'm sure the sun-dried tomatoes would have been awesome as well. All right, now we're gonna cook this. I think I did three and a half hours on low, yes. And you can also do two and a half hours on high. After which I added the spinach and I stirred it and I waited about two or three minutes to let that wilt. Now the spinach has wilted, we're adding two cups of heavy cream and we're gonna add two cups of cooked pasta. in the directions but I wanted mine a little thicker so I added a cornstarch slurry again I used one tablespoon of cornstarch one tablespoon of water and I just added it in and that did it for me but that is optional that's not in the directions so this is to garnish with Parmesan cheese 
I put quite a bit on mine now that I look at the peaches. <laughs> I'm glad you can see it before I smother it. But it's absolutely delicious. I, I did serve these with some dinner rolls. I hope you give it a try. I just put in my overnight bread that I made last night and now I'm going to in this crock pot make some potato soup so super simple potato soup we're gonna cut up or peel and cut up our potatoes and then we'll dice up some onions Now we have everything in the crock pot, we're going to add four cups of chicken broth. I make mine with the uh, bouillon, but either way you like to do it, it's four cups. And then we're going to use some salt and pepper. Now you can cook this on low for six hours or high for four. I did the high for four hours. And after the four hours is up in a saucepan, we're going to combine some butter, flour, heavy cream, and sour cream. And we're going to whisk that until it thickens. Now I, again, like all my other recipes, the ingredients are going to be at the end of this video, or this clip of the video, and then also in on our website, which is linked in the comment box below, and then on the website there's directions that you can follow as well. So we're going to go ahead and get everything in this pan and give it a good whisk. And then as it thickens, we're going to add that to the slow cooker and cook it on low for 30 minutes.
I served mine with shredded cheese on top and alongside the bread that I had made in the other crock pot. If you'd like the bread recipe, that was on uh, Menu Monday 10 17 22. And here are your ingredients for the soup. I hope you give it a try. It's super good. Today we're going to make a white chicken chili. I have made this before on my channel, but it's been a while. And this is a lovely winter dinner, so I wanted to put it back on here. Uh, we're going to first of all get all the ingredients in the pot. I'm going to show you as I put all the spices on here. But at the end of this clip and on the website, which is going to have a link below, we'll have a full list of ingredients and the directions for not only this dinner, but all the dinners I showed you today. Now we're adding the garlic and that completes all the seasonings. So now I'm going to add the beans, the rotel, drained corn, and of course the beans were rinsed and drained. There they go. And then uh, chicken broth. And then we're going to give everything a stir, which was hard for me to do because my chicken was frozen. But it does cook in time. Just make sure your internal temperature is 165 degrees on the chicken. Now this can be cooked on low for eight hours or high three to four hours, whichever works with your schedule. Now our time's up, we'll remove the chicken and we're going to shred that up and then we return that back to the slow cooker. We add in half and half and cream cheese. We cover and cook on high for 15 minutes until the chili is creamy. I actually did a cornstarch slurry, a uh, tablespoon of water, a tablespoon of cornstarch and thickened mine up. But that was optional and you can do that just if you wish. It turned out absolutely delicious. I served mine with some dinner rolls, which you'll see pictured here. I will have this recipe coming up on a future menu Monday. They're very easy and very delicious, and so is the chili. I hope you give it a try. Well, I hope you enjoyed those meals. I am going to take a week um, off, so I won't be back next Monday. Unfortunately, well, this is China, my smallest dog. I had to put her big brother down. Uh, he has, I'm not going to go into all the details, but he had multiple health issues going on. And he, had, he was 16 years old. And when you're watching this, it's going to be Miss China's birthday, and she's going to be 16. They've lived 15 years together, so almost 16. And she's having... She was fine at first, and now she's getting very clingy. She doesn't want me out of her sight. So I'm going to take some time with her to do some special things, take her outside, go play, and hopefully help her get through this. But I will be back the following Monday, and I'm going to leave you some pictures of these babies where they were playing together. And I hope you enjoy. And if you made it to the end of my video, please leave me a puppy emoji. Thanks, guys.